guys welcome back to part two um, of the Sephora sale I will be covering everything from skincare uh, hair products as well as some fragrance um, I hope that you guys did enjoy all of the makeup recommendations in the last video We're just gonna jump right in or it's going to be another 20 minute long video so the first product I want to show you guys is my face wash this is the Coors foam Coors foaming cream cleanser and honestly I really do love this product um, it is a cream cleanser so it's very very moisturizing but you can tell that it is actually cleaning your face um, I do use that more during the dry winter months but I have even been loving it now during uh, the more springy weather then usually this product which is a new one for me it's the first aid beauty cleansing oil plus makeup remover i will use this product before i go in with my cleanser and honestly this really really it does work um so what you do is you just kind of pump uh i do like about maybe like three or four pumps i kind of rub it into my hands not wet not using any water whatsoever and it's just to break up the makeup on your face um and you can like see it start to like really break up that waterproof the baking uh products and then you will go in with water and it doesn't really like sud up that much but you can tell that it is also like cleansing your face and on days where i do um use a bit of makeup i do like to double cleanse um so then i will go in with my cream cleanser then one of the toners honestly i have been loving is from ren clean skincare and is it is their ready set glow um tonic and honestly it really has made such a difference in my skin um because of the masks and stuff i was breaking out a lot in like my chin area and once i started incorporating that into my skincare i really noticed that all of like the little blemishes and like breakouts they were going down but the glow and glass look appearance that it gives your complexion it's like no other so honestly it really has complemented my other like skincare products so so well and i only use it during the daytime um even though it does have some of those acids in it um i have noticed that it does work better um when i use it during the day than at night um and then i will kind of go into some serum as well as the retinol so the retinol that i do like it's from shandy darden um and it is a expensive brand but honestly it is worth the price you can tell that the retinol is really working without giving you those classic retinol um complications like extra drying like flaky skin um but you can tell that it's kind of you know peeling away like those old layers of your skin and really like brightening and bringing out that baby soft skin then the 
other serum that I have been using for the nighttime, it's this Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentration. And honestly, I really have loved this. I won't say that it has like such um, high anti-aging benefits, but it really has kept my skin hydrated and also like glowy. Um, and then some moisturizers, the tried and true, and I hate that I am still going through these um, like travel sizes. It's the um, First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Cream. So this moisturizer, honestly, it moisturizes, but without giving you that kind of like greasy, um, like film on top of your face like other very moisturized moisturizing um creams will do and i love using that right before i'm about to um put on makeup like i use it for my skin prep and honestly i can't say any more good things about it then another um moisturizer that i will mention until they discontinue Tatcha never discontinue this product it's the Tatcha the dewy skin cream this moisturizer honestly it's a holy grail for my skincare my skin like like craves it whenever i don't have it in my skincare it's so moisturizing and like the product says, it really does give you dewy skin throughout the day as well as I use it more at night and you wake up still like feeling like those oils penetrating into your skin. Um, an eye cream that I have been loving, it's this First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. And I do use this during the day. Um, honestly, it is very, very moisturizing and it gives you kind of like that woken up look because of the like pearlescent, like little um, grainy things that it had, not grainy things, but like uh, per pearlescent, like little um, particles in it. And it really does hydrate your under eye throughout the entire day. Um, one thing, and I, um, did run out of my like full size. I think it was like last week. It's the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti Pollution Sunshine Drops. Try to say that five times fast. Um, so this one I really do like um, mixing it in with my super glue, my super goop um, dewy. Uh, SPF wow I'm like all of my words are like failing right now um, and it really does give you like a bronzy glowy look I love using it during the summertime when I you know I have a tan I don't need the extra coverage but I am looking to kind of even out my complexion and also get some SPF that combination is literally a dream sorry guys so my battery ended up dying so let's just continue on um i left off on oils so this pharmacy holy grail oil honestly i love this oil um i use it in a multiple different ways i will put it in as the last step in my skincare so basically after i put on my eye cream as well as my nighttime moisturizer i will put in a full dropper of this into the palm of my hand and i will kind of just warm that up and just press it into my skin instead of actually rubbing it so when you're actually pressing it into the skin you're blending it in with all of the other skincare um that you already have put in and it's just acting as basically a sealant just to you know lock all of those good ingredients and you know um 
different anti-aging things um, into your, you know, into your skin and the different layers into your skin. Then one oil that I do use about every two days is this Isle of Paradise um, self tanning drops in the shade dark. So um, I love this because it really honestly sets into your skin and starts, you know, you start seeing the different shades and, you know, the tan activating as early as about two hours. So I will put that in in the morning after, you know, I put in my moisturizer and I use about four to five drops. And I will also kind of this, I will kind of rub into my face just so that I am, you know, getting an even tan throughout my whole face. Um, I do avoid this area around here just because of the fact that I don't want a mustache and also if I put it on this part of my lip as well it will just kind of look weird and like funny so I do make sure that I put it all around my face and I do drag it into my hairline and also my ears so that it does look like a flawless tan and I will take it down to my neck now the last skincare product is this lawless um, forget the filler but this is the overnight lip plumping mask I honestly I really do like this product um, I forgot to grab my lineage these two honestly are neck and neck in my favorite ones i can't really you know choose between the two of them just because they act differently so with the lawless um you do get that plumping effect i don't want to say that it's truly that moisturizing and it wasn't made to be like that so on days where i feel that my lips are chapped I will go in with the Laneige Overnight um, Lip Balm, but this, honestly, this Lawless uh, Plumping Mask, it, you really do wake up feeling like your lips have a little bit more life into them. Um, they look a little more juicier and they look excellent honestly when you apply your like lip product whether if it's just a lip gloss or if you're going to go in with liner and lipstick so that is it for kind of skincare products um i kind of want to dive into the hair products So now on to hair products, I really just um, saved the boxes just because both of these products are into my shower and I didn't want them dripping all over the place. So it is the Orbe Gold Lust Shampoo, Shampoo, and the, oh, this is the shampoo box and this is the conditioner so i have to be honest um i was using drugstore shampoo and conditioner for a little while and i was noticing that my hair really looked like dull it was breaking um and <coughs> and it wasn't holding any type of curl and so i you know went back and forth just because that shampoo and conditioner um it's not cheap so i do take advantage of this sale and i buy it when i get the 25 percent off with the discount and i 
you know, just from one wash, my hair felt the difference. Um, I didn't have to touch up these curls. I have washed it since I got my hair done. And, um, you know, this is second day hair and I have a curl still. I haven't had to, you know, touch it up and um, the next product that i will show you guys i'm actually able to see the potential that it has um so i know that the these products the shampoo and conditioner from orbe they're not cheap but honestly a little bit goes a long way and they're worth it if you're spending you know hundreds of dollars on getting your hair done you should invest in you know keeping your hair strong and healthy and you know shiny and smelling good these products honestly smell amazing now the next product that i will show you guys unfortunately is another expensive product and a lot of the times more than not it is sold out and it is my Dyson, the um, air wrap. I left all of the attachment in my bathroom. Honestly, um, I will say it is worth the money. My hair has noticed a drastic difference. I'm not getting as many split ends and dead ends like I was getting with another product that I'm not going to sit here and bash because a lot of people love it. Um, like one of the round brush blow dryers. And honestly, I felt like it was just frying my hair where the technology that the Dyson has, you know, patent as well as studied, it really, really, you know, keeps your hair healthy. And what I was speaking about earlier is when I was using more affordable um, shampoo and conditioner, my hair with this um, tool, I just, I was like, why did I spend all of this money when I have to touch it up every single day? And I did use the um, curling attachment and honestly now i'm like wow i now get it i understand why it's always sold out and everybody is you know dying to get their hands on it so i will say you know this is an extremely expensive tool but you really do get the bang for your buck as well as your hair really really appreciates it with the the type of heat that it does get while um, you're using it and it does come with I believe it's seven different attachments um, it comes with two paddle brushes a round brush and then two different sizes of like the curling ones um, I have noticed that I have to use the smaller attachment of the um, curling iron for my curls to last um, and they just kind of like fall very very nicely and you know like I said this is second day hair and I haven't had to touch it up at all now going into my favorite dry shampoo which is the living proof um perfect hair day dry shampoo honestly i love this dry shampoo it's one of the um products that i have noticed that i use it and it really does soak up all of the oil in my hair without leaving like that tacky film in you know in my in my hairline where i wouldn't be able to like run my hands through my hair just because it would feel so like gritty and gunky um 
so this hair product it a little bit does go a long way it does come out with a white cast but one of the tips that I can give you is you just keep on shake. You have to shake it aggressively in the beginning um, to just kind of activate all of the product. And while you're actually, you know, going in and spraying it, I also do shake it a bit just so that it, you know, doesn't leave that much of a white residue in my hair. And you know you you don't even have to go in with a blow dryer to get the um added volume it just comes once you kind of really work it in and brush it out of your hair so um two products from olaplex that i will mention that are you know um one of them i have been using for years one is more of a newer product for me but ever since i got it i every time i wash my hair i have to use it the first one is the olaplex number three um i use this in conjunction and i i didn't grab it um the number zero which is more of a spray so this one you kind of it is like a a cream that you know you kind of just run through your hair and just kind of work it through and you saturate it once you you know once i get all of my head saturated with the number three i will go in separately and kind of spray the number zero into my hair and i will sleep with it um and you know my hair does feel and look so smooth and shiny when I get out of the shower the one thing that i will say is that i do not use that every single time i wash my hair so i will use those two products about two times a month just because it does deposit in protein which if you have too much protein in your hair it will literally snap and break and that could be one of the reasons why people are suffering from um breakage so I'm not going to touch on, you know, the overall like fluster that this product did get because of one of the um, ingredients that it has in it. Thankfully, um, the two products that I, the two bottles that I have had from this product have not contained it. Um, and if you're wondering what I'm looking, what I'm talking about, uh, you can just Google um, this product and I'm pretty sure that you can get all of the details about it. Now, the new product that I have incorporated into my hair, I don't want to say hair care routine, but that's the only thing that's coming to mind, is the Olaplex number six. So this one is a leave-in um, styling treatment, and what it really targets is frizz. And it says that it targets it for like 72 hours. Honestly, I have gone more than three days without washing my hair just because I don't really get that greasy and the less amount of heat that I put on it, the better for my hair. Um, but I do have kind of wavy ish hair but i really do suffer from frizz and you know i even put this product to the test where i put it into my hair and basically just let it air dry and it really really did control my frizz where yes in my like bang area i did have to you know go in and just give them a little bit of shape but to the rest of my hair i just left it alone and honestly like this really has changed um the texture of my hair and i cannot wait to use it for spring and summer through those hot humid months here in new york so um 
obviously you can tell that I do bleach my hair um, and because of the fact that I am not a natural blonde I do get brassy from time to time in between um, my toner you know treatments and stuff like that so one product that really has helped prolong the time that I go through um, without a like gloss or like toning treatment is this dry bar blonde ale um, powder so the way that this works um, it is almost like a it is a purple um, color and it basically you dump the whole powder into the palm of your hand and you activate it with a few drops of water and you just kind of form it into a paste in your hand and you work it through all well because I have blonde all the way up to the top of my head but you just basically um, run it through wherever you do have your blonde pieces and honestly it takes the brass out of your hair and it doesn't leave your hair feeling like that dry straw like texture um i'm probably if you did use it um you know more frequently you might get that feeling but i do try to use it maybe once a, a month and honestly my hair the texture does not change at all then one hair oil that i have been loving and i'm going to butcher this name so please save me the um the roll the rolling of the eyes gishu um and it is a honey infused hair oil so this honestly makes your hair very shiny um and one of the main reasons why i do use it is just because of i love the smell of it um but a little bit does go a long way um and you just kind of really want to work it from the nape of your neck down or else you will look like a naked mole rat and your hair will be sticking to your scalp and one fragrance just to wrap this video up um that is new to me and honestly i really have been loving this duo it is the joe malone um the wood sage the wood sage sea salt and also the peony and blush suede um perfumes so um joe malone has made different perfumes to either um you know mix the different combination you know the different perfumes together to make one scent or to use them separately and honestly like both of these scents smell amazing um the wood sage i would say it's more of a fresher um type of smell where the peony obviously it's more of a floral scent but it's not overpowering and honestly it doesn't smell like your 85 year old grandmother's per like old perfume um it's really like a tasteful floral scent um and i have been loving them separately as well as mixing them both together so guys, this is a wrap up of part two. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video as well as you kind of learned a little bit of some of the products that you have been on the fence for buying. Um, you know, I don't make these videos for, to force you to buy expensive products um you know they these are luxury products more than anything else and nobody should feel peer pressured nor forced to buy any of these products but these are my recommendations as well as products that over the years i have um you know tried out different things and these are the ones that have worked for me as well as some that are newer and um you know my review and 
my feeling towards them. Um, so with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so that we can catch up weekly and I will see you next time. Bye.